So some people ask me uh, what got me into this in the first place. Uh, one major thing was to be able to have a project that I can do with my son. I have a 13-year-old son and we built this out together. It's our first time using major tools, doing anything like that. So we both learned at the same time and had a good time doing it. it took us about uh, two months, which is really fast. Um, another reason for doing this is to create a smaller footprint. I wanted to show my son there's alternative ways to living other than having just a lot of stuff and a lot of space when it's not necessary. So by doing this, uh, you leave a smaller carbon footprint. Welcome, this is Nomadic Soul Traveler. And we're gonna do a small tour today. And uh, this is my van. It's a 2017 ProMaster uh, 2500 with a 158 inch wheelbase. Um, started out as a empty cargo van and I decided to convert it into a camper van slash home slash class B van. Uh, some of the mods that I started with was this bush guard. Uh, some people call it a bull guard, but this will get me through those off-road, off-grid areas that I could drive through. So let's take a look inside. First thing I did with the van is I added flooring, which is a premium vinyl flooring with a quarter inch wood under base for it to make it solid and then I just sealed that off. Um, but I have what we use called the Reflectix and it's the outer layer that creates a one inch gap for heat barrier. Inside of that, up against the metal wall is denim. It's a denim insulation made out of ground up uh, denim jeans, so it's a cotton base. It keeps the moisture out, it absorbs the heat along with this Reflectix as a heat shield. As well as built a platform bed in the back. I have a bench that was created which also has storage inside. Uh, and most of the stuff that's in here has been repurposed. So it's either stuff that was given to me or stuff I put together to create what you see today. All right, so this is the uh, living area. And starting down below here, I have my Dometic fridge and freezer that does freezing as well as refrigerator so I can make one side frozen side for things like ice cream and ice and so on, so what have you. This is also using the solar for power. Everything in the living quarters is covered by the solar panels that are up top. I have two six liter uh, water containers. One is for gray water which is the water that drains out of the sink and one is fresh water so when I use the pan pump that's the fresh water. That water is actually drinking water, so I use it as well for drinking as well as washing things. It's what most people ask, where do you use the restroom if you have to? It's basically a cassette toilet. I can take it out, take it to any restroom and dump it, or any public park uh, restroom and dump that. But this is for emergencies only. I get asked, do you do a number one or number two in the van? Only the number one. Number two would be extreme emergency when I'm off grid and there is nowhere I can go. I would use that not getting any younger, so might as well have some adventure in your life. 